Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing D latch. D stands for delay or data. So one difference between a D latch as well as a D flip flop is a D latch is using a enable signal while a D flip flop is using a clock signal. So before going to the D latch concept, let us refresh the terms ESR latch. So because this SR latch is partially using in this D latch concept in an SR latch we know that we had used set reset concept and the SR latch using NOR gate is shown in this figure in the NOR gate SR latch we are using two NOR gates in which the output of one NOR gate is feeded as the input of the second and the second NOR gate's output is feeding as the input of the first. So this cross coupling of the output towards the input of other NOR gate will result in the formation of SR latch and the S stands for set as well as R stands for reset and the output is represented as Q and the truth table for this SR latch is as follows s equal 0 r equal 0 results in the memory condition s equal 0 r equal 1 results in an output of q equal 0 s equal to 1 r equal to 0 results in an output of 1 and 1 1 condition that is s equal to 1 r equal to 1 is a invalid condition thus this condition is not using in an sr latch of nor gate so before going to the representation of D-Latch, let us refresh another term known as AND gate. So we all know that AND gates are used to enable an output if and only if both of its inputs are present. So if we are considering a two input AND gate, the output of two input AND gate is Y, that is output equals A dot to B, that is A and to B. And the truth table is 0, 0 input results in an output of 0, 0, 1 results in an output of 0, 1, 0 results in 0, and 1, 1 results in 1. That is, if any of its input is not present, then the output will be 0. Or simply, the output will be 1 if and only if all of the inputs are present or all of the inputs are 1. So by combining the SR latch as well as some AND gates, we can design a D latch. So the D latch is designed as shown in this figure. Here we can see two AND gates and one input of two AND gate is an enable signal. So as we mentioned earlier, this enable signals ensures that if we are providing an input, that input will be feeded towards the output. This is a function of an enable signal. And another input of AND gate is one AND gate is feeding with a D signal as well as the second AND gate is feeding with a NOT of that particular input. So we are providing a D signal, D4 data or delay signal. And this data is feeding towards a NOT gate and the output of NOT gate is feeding towards the input of the second AND gate. So here we can see that previously we had discussed the ESR latch using NOR gate and the second portion that is we are shading that portion here this portion is the esr latch itself so let us refresh the sr latch truth table so sr latch truth table is as follows 0 0 results in a memory condition 0 1 results in an output of 0 1 0 results in an output of 1 and 1 1 is an invalid condition thus this condition is not using here so here in this D latch condition, we can see that there are two different cases exist. The first case is if enable equal to zero, then the output will be the memory condition itself. So as we mentioned earlier, an enable signal will allow an input signal to pass towards the output. So if the enable is zero, then no output will be created. That simply means that it is preserving the previous output itself. That is, there is no change in the output. This no change can be termed as the memory condition. And in the second case, that is if we are providing an enable signal of one, then the output will be the input itself. So let us discuss in detail about these two cases. Firstly, we are dealing with the case one that is enable equal to zero. So if we are providing an enable signal 0, according to the AND gates truth table, it is very much evident that if any of its input is 0, then the output of the AND gate will be 0 itself. 
so now the output of first and the second AND gate is zero that is the R value equal to zero as well as the ES value equal to zero the output of the AND gate doesn't depend upon the D value that is the enable signal is zero itself then according to the AND gate's truth table if any of the input is zero the output will be zero thus the R and ES will become zero here let us discuss the truth table of ESR last if the ES equal to zero R equal to zero then that condition is known as the memory condition in an ESR latch since we are dealing with a second logical circuit is an ESR latch this zero zero condition results in a memory condition so thus we can conclude that the output that is a Q value will be the previous state itself that is no change in the data thus the enable signal zero will results in a memory condition that is it is preserving the previous value itself so if enable equal to zero then d equal to zero results in memory if enable equal to zero d equal to one it also results in the memory condition so next we are dealing with the case two condition that is the enable signal equal to one and firstly if we are dealing with d equal to zero so enable equal to one d equal to zero this will result in d complement equal to 1 thus the yellow AND gate gets one input as 1 and the second AND gate that is the green AND gates one input is 0 so the first AND gates input is 1 1 and second AND gates input is 1 0 thus the output of first AND gate is 1 and the second AND gates output is 0 thus now the s value becomes 0 and r value becomes 1 so this can be verified with the sr last truth table so according to the sr last truth table s equal to 0 r equal to 1 results in an output of 0 thus we can tell that the q value will be 0 that is if d equal to 0 then the output will be 0 itself so now if we are starting with d equal to 1 and the enable signal is of course 1 so d is equal to 1 then d complement that is the output of the NOT gate will be 0 that is 0 is feeding towards the first AND gate and 1 is feeding towards the second AND gate so the first AND gate's input values are 0 and 1 and second AND gate's input is 1 and 1 so the output of the first AND gate is 0 since it is having input of 0 and 1 and the second AND gate's output is 1 since it is having the inputs 1 and 1 so now the ES value becomes 1 and R value becomes 0 so if we are verifying the SR latch with S equal to 1 R equal to 0 then the output will be 1 thus we can tell that if enable equal to 1 and D is equal to 1 results in an output of 1 so this is how the D latch is working. So if we are concluding this D latch concept, so D latch is a combination of some AND gate with the SR latch. So there are two cases in a D latch. The D stands for delay as well as data. The case one is if enable signal equal to zero, then the output will be memory itself. And if enable signal is equal to one, that will result in an output of input itself. So the truth table can be concluded as the enable signal zero will result in the memory condition without considering the data value of the D signal. And if enable equal to one and D is equal to zero results in an output of zero. And if enable equal to one and D is equal to one results in an output of one, that is the output is the input itself if enable equal to one. So this is the D latch concept. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. Our question is write notes on D latch. So dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the ESR flip-flops. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye, thank you and all the best.